All right, day seven, starting right now. We got system update. Okay, we have like a computer. We have a directory, and we want to know the total size of, let's see. Uh-huh. In E, just 100,000. Uh, okay, sure. That part here is just parsing. Oh. Interesting. Oh.
nine five four three seven. That's right. Okay. Uh He's the smallest. Uh, that went pretty well. So let's talk about what happened. This was a, a lot going on here. Uh, I think this prints the right answers. Yeah, cool. 1770595. 770595 and 2195372. Okay, great. I think this is right. Uh, so let's see what's happening. Um, so we get a basically like a Linux console listing of someone exploring a file system uh, with CD, which means to go to some directory, uh, LS, which means tell me about all the files and directories inside this directory, and then you know CD like to all of the uh, children, um, and then back out to the parents. So those are the types of commands that we care about. Um, so what we need to do is uh, given you know that listing of commands, figure out how big each directory is. Uh, and then in part one, we want to uh, return the sum of the sizes of all directories that are of size at most 100,000. Uh, and then in part two, we want the biggest, the smallest directory that's bigger than some number. We'll talk about that later. Uh, OK, so what's happening in part one? Um, OK, so I think the main. So they say that a file contributes to like both its directory and also to the size of all the directories, you know, that are like parents of it, right? So like this h.list file is contributing, or this i file say is contributing to both the size of e and also the size of a and also the size of slash, right? Because it's actually, you know, slash a slash e. Um, so what we're going to do is keep track of like which directory we are currently in as, you know, like a list of subdirectories, like, you know, so a slash e or something. Um, so if we have a change directory command, so if we're changing to the parent, then we pop out of our path. And otherwise, uh, we add to our path, you know, whatever the thing that we're CDing into is. Um, so this is already enough to keep track of like which directory we're in. Uh, and then when we list out files, uh, we actually want to add them, you know, to the size. So what we're trying to build from this import is size dictionary. Uh, which maps uh, a directory path to its size. OK, so we figured out how to track which directory we're in. And uh, if we see an ls command, we don't need to do anything. right? We'll just process the files um, or run lines by themselves. So uh, when we ls, we either get like a directory and a name. We don't actually care about that either because we'll you know process that subdirectory when we get to it. What we care about are the actual files, which are some number and then some length, size, and then their name. We don't actually care about their name at all. We do care about the size. 
uh, okay, so it's either a CD or it's an LS or it's a directory. You know, maybe a nicer thing to do here would be words zero equals dir, then continue. And then otherwise we should actually have a real file. So I don't need to do this incredibly ugly try accept thing. Yeah, cool. That's much nicer. So if it's a directory, then we don't care. Otherwise it must be a file. So figure out what the size is by parsing, you know, this thing as an integer. Uh, and now this part is tricky. Add this file's size to uh, our current directory size and the size of all parents. And I suppose this is slightly clearer. Yeah. Um, well, actually matter for that. But uh, so we're going to go through like all uh, parent directories and add uh, our size to them. So maybe this will print out nicely. Let's look at what the size. Okay. Well. Look at what the size uh, variable contains after this. So we can see that the slash has a total, so, you know, some size, and then slash brh whatever has some size, slash you know the subdirectory, uh, and you know these two add up to like roughly this. This one might actually be more because it might directly contain a file. Um, you can see that I start with slash slash because like the root uh, is treated as. You know, this is the root slash, and then this is the separator slash. Uh, so anyway, not, not really important as long as we're consistent with the name. Um, so yeah, we want to add this file size not only to our current directory, but also to all of our parent directories. Um, so I'm grabbing all the prefixes of the path, right? So like we first want to add to slash, and then to slash whatever the child of slash, you know, the root is. All the way down until we get to our like current uh, directory. So our current directory is when i equals len path plus one, and then we just grab the entire path. Uh, so we'll just join them with slash to you know get a nice name for the directory. Uh, the name doesn't really matter at all, but you know it's kind of nice. Uh, okay, and then that's actually like this is the main part of the problem. It's just building up this direct uh, dictionary, and then we can use that uh, to solve the problem. So in part one, we're supposed to go through all the directories with size less than 100,000 and add them up. Uh, and let me just change the names here so it's a little bit more clear. Okay, so in part one, we go through uh, all the things with size less than 100,000 and add them up, and we get, well, one would hope that we would get the right answer, but apparently not. And we get the right answer. Uh, and then for part two, they want us to do something different, uh, which is we have, I guess, 70 megabytes on the file system, but we need, and we need to have 30 megabytes free uh, so we can compute how much we, so we need to only use like 40 megabytes, right? Because we uh, need 70 megabytes free out of the 30, sorry. 30 free out of the 70. So we need, we can only use at most 40. And we know how much we have used. That's just the size of root. So we can figure out how much we, you know, need to free up, which I guess is, you know, two megabytes. Uh, and then they'd say, what is the size of the smallest directory that's bigger than that? So we can delete it. Um, so we can compute how much we need to free up. And then we can go through all the directories. And of the ones that are you know, if big enough, take the smallest size. And that's the answer for it too. Uh, so that, you know, turns out to be this in my example. Um, so, you know, again, we can see that like building up the size directory was, you know, by far the hardest part. Uh, and then we just need to do some pretty simple, you know, go through all the directories um, and either you know, add them all up if they're less than some limit or min them if they're more than some limit uh, for parts one and two respectively. Uh, so yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I think like get sort of figuring out the input was probably the hardest part here as it often is. Um, although this turned out to be, uh, sort of nicer than I expected looking at it. 
it, I don't know, it looks very intimidating, um, but they are just uh, sort of walking the file system tree. Um, this is like, I don't know, I guess I didn't really use a tree data structure here, but uh, file systems are trees, right? Which is just like you have, you know, some node, which is a directory, and then it might have some children, which are also nodes, which are subdirectories. Um, and then maybe there's also some like information at each node, like these files. Um, and so you're building up, uh, you know, I guess some sort of compressing uh, this tree data structure into this like size of each node, um, you know, dictionary. Uh, so that's sort of the, I don't know, algorithmically interesting part of the problem. Uh, yeah, really neat problem, I thought. And, you know, I think I did well today, so that's nice too. Um, so that is all for today. See you tomorrow.